If I married my soulmate, and this is the word that's being used a lot today, soulmate. I'm looking for my soulmate. Let me tell you something about your soulmate. Hey, they're really messed up. Okay, if you think your soulmate is this person that you see and you just go, oh, like that, well, you may fall in love with them, but they're still messed up. Let me say another thing about soulmates. They're not born, they're made. The best marriages are not two perfect people who get together in chemistry strikes and they live happily ever after. The best marriages are two very different people who have a lot of incompatibility that roll up their sleeves and go through lots of trouble together but they stay together and work it out and they come out as best friends. If I marry the right person, the emotions will be there. No, they won't. It'll be there to the degree that you work at it. And even if you work at it, there'll be times the emotions are just aren't there. The second is, if my emotions change toward my spouse, I must have married the wrong person. No, again, emotions come and go. I can't predict my emotions, but the best love in the world is love by choice. It's called agape love. It's God's type of love. I don't know what my emotions are gonna do tomorrow, but I'm in, always in control of my will. When I say I love Karen Evans, what I'm saying is this, regardless of how I feel or what she does, I've made a decision. I will always be faithful to her and do my best to love her.